Hello everybody, so today we're going to be talking about uh, the Legendre Transform for Grand Canonical Potential. Grand Canonical Potential is given by, it's given by the, the term Omega, and it's just uh, U minus T S minus Mu N? Yes. So, we know what we have to do already. We start off with our... Um, our basic combined first and second law, du equals t ds minus p dv plus mu dn, okay? And no, I should actually write that. Yes, I'm going to write it just saying a one component system, okay? So again, du equals, we don't leave our ts as it is, dts. And I'm just going to sort of take a shortcut here. You've seen how I've gotten the other um, things, and you know how I'm going to get this one. So I know that DTS is going to leave me with minus SDT. Because I had a TDS there before, this DTS, TDS is equal to DTS minus SDT, basically. Um, we leave our PDV as it is, our negative PDV. And this should be a capital V. plus d mu n minus n d mu yes so i can move everything over here d let me do it let me do this one one step at a time d u minus d t s minus d mu n is equal to negative s d t minus p d v minus n d mu. Okay? I can combine all of these because these are all differentials. d u minus t s minus mu n is equal to negative s d t minus p d v minus n d mu. This is simply equal to our grand canonical potential, our d grand canonical potential. So that being said, we can finally go ahead and say that grand canonical potential can be given by this, negative s d t minus p d v minus n d mu. That is our grand canonical potential Legendre transform. Pretty simple, right? Bet, let's go. Um, again, if anything was unclear, ask in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, let's keep learning thermal. Thank you.